guys I'll be locked in for this upcoming fight that we have for the unanimous heavyweight championship bout right here on the zone. Very much looking forward to that. Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King versus Alexander Usyk, the Ukrainian. This will be the first time that we will see a unanimous heavyweight champion in 25 years. A lot to look forward to here. A, a lot of different clashes and styles that we see from these two fighters with the size and speed. What are you looking forward to in this contest? And who do you feel like has the upper edge in those two areas? You know, let's start through the very beginning. You know, Tyson Fury, he just got done fighting Francis Nagano. That was his last fight. He didn't look the best. You know, everybody was like, did he? Fight is a very nice way to say his performance. Yeah, everybody was like, <laughs> did you even train for the fight? What, what's going on? So that, you know, that, that's my last impression I have on Tyson Fury right now. He's obviously taken on Usek. Usek, he's beat Anthony Joshua. Joshua, but Usek just Very, very, uh, moves very good as a softball and at a heavyweight. Um, he, when he beat Anthony Joshua, I was very shocked because Anthony Joshua is very big, athletic, moves very well, but Usek just danced circles all around him in the southpaw position. So going to this fight, how is Tyson Fury going to deal with Usek's movement? Always in a high volume as well. Because when we look at Usek, he almost mirrors the same style as Lamashenko. Bop, 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 turns the angle, uppercut, right hand. And he's very relentless with his pressure. Both Ukrainians, right? Or, yes, both yeah, Ukrainians, so yes. In terms of that style, when you talk about the speed that, that Usek can possess, mm -hmm. th does... I've seen some reports. Maybe Fury may come in a little slimmer than he usually does. For He's going to need fight. to. He's going to need to because the the volume that Usyk fights at is not the same as Francis or other heavyweights, right? That Tyson Fury is used to facing. So Tyson Fury has seen Usyk fight. He's moves. Usyk moves a lot as a southpaw around the angle on the on the I call the moon curve. He does a lot of that. And Tyson Fury is going to have to build on his uh, be on his bicycle to be able to maintain the same volume he's going to be doing. And we know about Fury's. We'll get back to the Ngannou stuff, but Fury's unorthodox style and approach that he has. Sometimes southpaw, sometimes with his hands up, hands down, want to play tight. What would be the best approach? to someone who has the speed and the movement that Usyk does? Well, the biggest thing is that Tyson has a range advantage because he's taller, mm -hmm. right? And so he's got to keep on moving. For Usyk to get past that, you got to beat the body up. You beat the body up, the heads will come down, and then you have to hit him with the overhand right or overhand left as a southpaw. So it's going to come down to, can Usyk get to Tyson Fury without taking much damage and beat the body up to bring the head down? And can Tyson Fury keep... Usyk at range and slow him down. I don't think he's going to be able to slow him down and use his size to uh, be, uh, weigh on him. It's going to be a sick fight. I, that's a big fight I cannot wait to see. It's going to be a great fight. Would you consider this a, a speed versus power fight? You know, a speed versus size fight? I, I would say speed versus size. I think that's the better because Tyson Fury, he does knock people out, but he doesn't have like that Ryan Garcia, that blistering left hook that drops you if it hits you. He has more of a style where he's he's here, he throws a beautiful jab, one, two, he works behind, and he he boxes. He boxes where you say he boxes, but he also fights where he's actually trying to put you away. Mm, and then, yeah, I think it's, it's speed versus size because you said you should be a lot smaller, but he keeps going up and beating all the bigger guys in the, in the division and weight class. Right. We, we talked about the last fight Tyson Fury was in. Francis Ngannou, MMA guy, first time he's he's boxing um, in Saudi Arabia. Big prize fight yep. in Saudi Arabia. And this one's back there, correct? Yeah, this one is actually is, is back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, a lot of questions in terms of how serious Fury took this fight. And Ngannou actually knocked him on the canvas yeah. in this contest. And, and a lot of people thought that actually Fury lost his fight. Yep. D didn't take it as seriously. And of course, we're coming off of Garcia and Haney where right. <laughs> we see one guy taking it serious and we see the other guy not taking it serious. It was funny, Tyson Fury said this quote leading up to this fight in terms of his seriousness and where his mindset is at. He said, quote, I think if I didn't train at all for this camp and came in 25 stones, which is about 350 pounds, and sank 15 pints of Peroni, which again, we've seen boxers <laughs> drink some beer from time or two uh, at weigh-ins. He said, if he drank 15 pints of Peroni beforehand, then the next day he went and gone in there. What's he going to do? Jib and jab around me? Essentially, Fury's coming in with a lot of confidence here. That's the guy. <laughs> Is that what you're rolling All with? in on Fury. Yeah. <laughs> Any boxer All now, when they announce that they're drinking before the fight, that's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to uh, enough with the seriousness <laughs> yeah. in boxing. Like, who's the most relaxed? Who's the most calm? Right, exactly. And, and do you take anything from that Garcia fight? with like, Because you always are worried about 
someone being overconfident, yeah. uh, cocky, arrogance in this kind of aspect. But I mean, in boxing, what? sometimes is it is it needed? Is it necessary? Yeah. And I think there's also, you know, maybe a, th a thin line between like being so locked in to where you're like Haney, where you're playing too much by the book and mm. you're not just going with how you feel and your rhythm and how you know how to fight and just going off of instinct. Maybe when you are feeling so confident in yourself, you go in there and, and almost like play your game, as you would say in basketball. Um, so I, I don't know. But Tyson's been around for a while now. You know, so this is... He knows how to train. He knows, you know, what he needs to do. Maybe that was one fight, you know, his last one against a guy we thought might be a little bit easier of a of a match than he expected. Um, but going into this, I think the stakes are a little bit higher. So absolutely. I mean, so whether he's drinking or not, I think he's going to take it seriously. <laughs> here, here are the names that have won the unified, undisputed heavyweight championship. Which say what you want, it's still the prize situation that you want to be in in boxing you're talking muhammad ali you're talking mike tyson joe frazier george foreman sonny liston uh, vander holyfield and the last one to do it was lennox lewis when he defeated holyfield uh to win the unified undisputed heavyweight championship we have a situation here there's gonna be like a whole generation of kids who are watching this that have never seen none of those a guys. unified heavyweight championship title bout like what is the significance of us finally getting one of these for the first time in 25 years? Oh, it's absolutely massive. I mean, those names you just, you know, rallied off. Those guys aren't even boxing anymore, right? Besides Mike Tyson, yeah. right? <laughs> He's the only one who's still boxing, yeah. right? God bless Mike Tyson. But, you know, for the new era now of people watching boxing, this is their opportunity to witness history, right? Because it's been a long, long, long time since we've seen this opportunity for these two gentlemen, Tyson Fury and Yusek, to be able to capture and put their names along the list of those greats. Yeah, and, and the significance of doing that and putting your name along those greats, as you mentioned, uh, Usyk has come out and, and like vehemently said in his broken English that he can, yeah. no, I'm here to win the unified oh, yeah. heavyweight championship. Like this still carries a level of significance for these guys. And of course, we've seen from Fury consistently tell, say he's the greatest heavyweight yep. champion of all time. Yep. Having this on his legacy, like it feels like there's two significant legacies here at stake for Fury to cement himself with these names we just mentioned, yep. and for Usyk to make a name for himself as well to the boxing world to show them that he, he's one of the best heavyweights of this generation. Yeah, I think Usyk is more like a dark horse, right? Because when you when you talk about the heavyweights in this era, you had Dante Wilder, you had Tyson Fury, you had Francis, uh, not Francis Nagano. Uh, <laughs> well, he, he, he was, yeah, he was, he was, he was yeah. these guys proving yeah, himself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, you have Anthony Joshua, where I feel like Yusek is kind of like that dark horse, doesn't say much, doesn't, you know, doesn't speak English, but when he goes out there and he fights, he brings it, like he takes it to his opponents, and that's one of the things I love about him, and him holding the significance of him being able to have his name next, uh, next to all those great, those great athletes, it just shows you how dialed in he is for this fight. Is globally this going to be the biggest fight of the year on a global stage? Because let, let's think about it. it's not just U.S. fans that yeah, are going to be tuning have. in. It's almost like they're putting their countries on their back in yep. a sense. They have they carry that pride as well. Yep. You have the Ukrainians. You have yeah. Americans who want to see it. And it's not even that. It's just the significance of what holds whoever wins this. Gets to be in line uh, along with other greats. And then the winner of this gets to fight Anthony Joshua, who just beat Preston Nagano. And we've all wanted to see for the longest time, Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. We all wanted to see that, but he's gonna get through USEC first and we'll see what happens. What advice would you give these fighters going into this contest, knowing what's at stake, knowing that they can cement their legacy with the opportunity to be the unified world heavyweight champion? I keep wanting to say world heavyweight, like, <laughs> I guess WWE, but <laughs> unified heavyweight champion. Uh, you know, honestly, uh, for USEC, just do what you do best, right? You're a great southpaw, you move very well, you're very high volume, keep that same high volume uh, against Tyson Fury because I feel when you come up to heavyweight, you have uh, you have something that the heavyweights don't have, which is a gas tank, right? A lot of the guys, you know, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, the list of all the, you know, even Vladimir Klitschko, those guys didn't move a lot. They were very big, very one, two, one, two, three where Yusek, he's throwing like six, eight punch combinations. So keep that same movement, keep working around the angle and just take it to him, beat the body up and the head will follow. Does the delay in this fight at all change things? I know Fury had something that popped up in sparring, which caused this fight to be delayed. When he got that cut. The cut in his eye. Does that, does that change things at all for any one of these fighters? No, I don't think so. Cause boxing doesn't really wear down your body like MMA does or kickboxing or Muay Thai, where you're taking so much more um, 
of somebody's body weight on you. I think for boxing, it's just all arms and jump roping and running and a little bit of sparring, but I don't think it does. I think if anything, it probably helps them because I'm sure some of them are probably drinking a beer and <laughs> um, get, get some mind off things. <laughs> what do you think Tyson needs to do to secure this win? Take it seriously. <laughs> I think That's take, it? No, I, I think take it seriously and just be ready for the high volume and high movement. Um, a lot of people get thrown off when they fight Yusek or how well he moves. Um, even like Lama Sheikha when he fought uh, Demon Haney, he moves so much. So you just look at people have to take in consideration of Yusek's movement. If he doesn't, it's going to be uh, not a very good night for Tyson. <laughs>